GTA 6 is the most hyped game of all time. And I know, you don't need me to tell you that. Rockstar has an absolute blockbuster on their hands. Even if it ends up being super disappointing or even completely trash, it doesn't matter. The game is going to sell tens of millions of copies right out of the gate. We all know that. That being said, there's been a lot of discussion over the platforms of the game and uh, what it's going to launch on because it could have a pretty huge impact on how many copies the game sells during its launch window. Some have suggested that either Sony or Microsoft are going to cut a deal for timed exclusivity of GTA 6, which I think is complete nonsense and stupid. There's no way Take-Two and Rockstar, uh, there's no way they go for that bait. But there's a third version of the game that has been getting a lot of attention on social media thanks to leaks that recently came out in its release date. So if you're a PC player who is interested in Grand Theft Auto 6, you need to watch this video all the way through because we have a lot to go over and it might just be the news that you were waiting for. So you let me know in the comments. Are you ready for the game? When do you think the game is coming out? And let's go. As you probably know, Rockstar has a very weird relationship with the PC community, despite the PC versions of games like GTA 5 and Red Dead 2 selling millions of copies and being massive modding communities. Rockstar and Take-Two are always kind of hesitant to release the games on the platform. GTA 5 initially dropped on September of 2013, but the PC version didn't come until April of 2015. Red Dead 2 dropped in October of 2018, but no PC version until November of the following year. Then, there's other Rockstar games that never got an official PC release. I mean, the first Red Dead Redemption. In fact, the PC community has been pretty upset at Rockstar and Take-Two recently because it was announced that the $50 re-release of Red Dead 1 is not coming to PC, despite there being millions of people who would buy it and play it. And if they were able to mod it, I mean, it would be crazy. Even if you're not a PC player, you have to realize just how much money Rockstar is missing out by not releasing games on the PC right away. I mean, I guess you could say they're trying to double dip between the console and the PC markets, but I mean, as those two audiences get further and further apart from each other as time goes on, I don't think that's a winning strategy. If you're a PC player who's annoyed at how long Rockstar takes to port their games to your platform, some recent leaks may be right up your alley. So these leaks came out very recently, and they're obviously not confirmed, so take them with that grain of salt. But according to GTA 6 Countdown on Twitter, who has been compiling a lot of leaks and rumors throughout the months, GTA 6's PC version is actually going to launch alongside the Xbox and the PS5 version, which that would be the first time since GTA 2 that a new Grand Theft Auto game came out on PC the same day as its console counterpart. Now, according to the leaks, this information comes from leaked gameplay footage and the game code within it suggesting that a PC version is already in development thanks to things like various references to NVIDIA graphics cards, Windows 10, as well as certain debug menus and a warning pop-up that appeared at one point telling the user to close other apps in order to improve performance. That's convincing. I mean, as if the game was only in development for the PS5 and the Xbox, it would be safe to assume that the in-development footage would be tested on those consoles as opposed to obviously being played on a PC. Now, granted, it's possible Rockstar is just doing the bulk of the work on PCs, obviously, before making the final version a console exclusive, but the fact that there's so many references to PC-specific things in that leaked footage we got, that suggests a PC version is in development as we speak, which would imply that the PC version is going to launch alongside the Xbox and PlayStation versions, if not very soon after. Now, in the past... Rockstar has said they want to finish the console versions of their game before they put a lot of work into the PC port, which is why they usually lag behind a year or two at, at, at the most. But if the team is already working on a PC version, and remember, the console version is still quite some time away from release, it kind of makes it more believable that Rockstar and Take-Two may be changing strategies this time around. So with how many copies RDR2 and GTA 5 sold on PC... I just find it hard to believe that Rockstar doesn't want to get the PC version of GTA 6 out on launch day. In case you weren't aware, both RDR2 and GTA 5 sold an absolutely stupid amount of copies on PC, and according to Steam charts, GTA 5 is still the sixth most played game on the entire platform. The modding community absolutely loves these games, and then on top of all that, the people who just want to play the game vanilla. It was also recently announced that Rockstar has partnered with some popular GTA online role-playing hosts, and GTA role-playing has a massive presence on the PC. So even though the Red Dead re-release is not coming to PC, there's plenty of evidence to suggest that Rockstar and Take-Two are taking the platform seriously, which would again back up the theory that GTA 6 is going to launch 
on launch day right next to the consoles and uh, be something uh, that everybody would just be happy with. Now, these leaks shouldn't get you overly excited one way or the other because they seem to be a complete contradiction of some PC version leaks that came out earlier this year. In March of 2023, leaks floated around that GTA 6 was going to launch in the fall of 2024 on the PlayStation and the Xbox before coming to the PC in 2025. Now, these leaks have since been possibly debunked thanks to Take-Two Interactive more or less confirming the game isn't going to launch until October of 2024 at the absolute earliest. Yes, October is technically still the fall, but with GTA 6 dropping in fiscal year 2025, according to Take-Two themselves, I think we should be looking uh, later into that time period. Personally, I'm of the opinion that GTA 6 is going to launch in either late November or early December of 2024. And that's the absolute earliest, or it will be coming somewhere between February and April of 2025. October seems just a tad early to me, but that doesn't mean the PC version is going to come in that month as well. Now, there's a lot of moving parts here, and I'm just not entirely convinced that October as a release window is accurate. So what am I convinced of? What do I think? Well, I'm in the middle. I think it's undeniable that a pretty massive portion of the GTA community would want the next game to come out on PC on day one. Rockstar knows that. The PS5 and the Xbox Series consoles haven't done a great job at converting PC gamers away from their favorite platform, and that's actually a pretty decent amount of evidence suggesting that a lot of PS4 and Xbox One owners actually built gaming PCs instead of upgrading to the new versions of their console. So while Rockstar may have gotten away with double dipping in the 7th and the 8th console generations, times have changed. I don't think that's going to work this time, at least not as well as they're hoping. A lot of PC players just aren't going to go out and buy a PS5 or an Xbox instead of just waiting for the PC version. Rockstar would generate a ton of additional hype for launch if they said all three versions on the same day. So that being said, they do have a history of doing the console first and then fine-tuning the PC version for another year or two, and that's part of the reason why their PC ports are good. So even if you're a console player, there's no denying the PC versions are... They're good, they are. I mean, the versions of GTA 5 and Red Dead 2 are leagues better than the console version, and if Rockstar wants extra time to make that happen, well, they're Rockstar. They're going to take all the time they want. So ultimately, I think Rockstar should do whatever gets the best product out to the consumer, you and me, even if it means holding on to the PC version for a little extra time. But I think the amount of additional revenue they would be missing out on by not releasing the game on PC on day one, it's a lot. We know for a fact the game is being built on the PC, obviously, and we know that the leaked gameplay footage was from a PC build. So whether or not that PC build ends up uh, finishing development at the same time as the console versions is uh, something we have to remain to be seen. But for the sake of all the PC gamers out there, I see you. I'm hoping that these new leaks are true and you guys get to play GTA 6 at the same time as Xbox and PlayStation players. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll keep you covered if anything new breaks, and I'll see you soon.